Hello there, everyone. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome to my first 4K Let's Play and my first PS5 Let's Play. Yes, yes, indeed. The first Let's Play in 4K and the first Let's Play on the brand spanking new PlayStation 5, which just came out today. Now, to be clear, this is not my PS5. It is, uh, it is my roommate, uh, you see. I don't know why I'm being coy about that, most of you know. But anyways. So this is Astro's Playroom. It's one of the, uh, it's, it's a pre-installed, well, not pre-installed, you have to download it, but it's free. It's a free PS, um, PS5 game that gives you a chance to, like, get to, get to know the, um, the, ah, fuck, I fell. Get to know the uh, PS5's uh, haptic feedback on the, the new PS5 DualSense controller. Yes, and speaking of the controller, that's actually how I'm commentating. There is a microphone built into the PS5 controller, and you can use that microphone to do your talking when you are recording videos. Also, this footage is being recorded directly from the PS5 internal recording feature. Now I have yet to see, son of a bitch, I fell again. You know what, I'll worry about that later. Not gonna record, not gonna waste all this time with it. All right, so, um, let's go inside a level. Let's check out a level real quick. So this is actually cool, and for being free, this is pretty cool. Okay, did you see that shit? That right there, that was your loading screen. That was it. That was fast as shit. I mean, okay, so I, I've never really had the chance to game on a good PC, so if you're watching this and you're like, oh, well, I, I, I game on the PC, so I'm used to that. You see. Uh, well, the thing is, I'm not, so this is impressive to me, okay? Let people enjoy things. So this game, by the way, if you go around and look, you can actually see references to other games. Like, I think this is supposed to be Monster Hunter? Those look like weapons from Monster Hunter World, I believe. I thought maybe it was Final Fantasy XV at first, but it's not. I'm pretty sure that's Monster Hunter World. Anyways, so yeah, the references to other games that have been on PlayStation systems throughout the past. Plus, if you look, they were all playing um, PSPs while they were sitting there. Bam! Anyone who's played Astrobot Rescue Mission on the PlayStation VR, by the way, this game has the same control scheme as that, so it'll feel familiar. Now, I just got a trophy, and I don't know if those pop up in the internal recording or not. I have yet to see that myself. But when you do get a trophy in these games, not only does it save a screenshot on the PS5, but it also saves a 15 minute or a 15 second clip of the, uh, of what you did to get that trophy. Anyways, here's another reference. This one's Bloodborne. That should be pretty obvious by the hat, the blade, and the gun. Oh, look, Astro put on a VR headset. Okay. References everywhere. There's like four different levels to this. We're just gonna do, we're just gonna do some of the first one, some maybe all. We'll see how far we get. You know, I haven't decided yet. Here's another reference. I've seen some of this before, so I remember these. This is The Last of Us. That's a that's a clicker right there, and that's Joel and Ellie hiding around the corner. Okay. By the way, this footage might be in 30 frames. I don't know. Again, this is my first time recording on the PS5, so I don't know if it captures the footage. I think... I think I read that it captures it in 60 frames somewhere. So hopefully that's the case. Yama! Ooh, that must look that's the way. Hold on. Let's go over here first. Yeah. Okay, so the haptic feedback is really hard to put into words, but what it basically is, is um you know how a subwoofer works, where it turns uh, vibrations into low-frequency sound? Well, that's basically how the haptic feedback works in the DualSense 5 controller. It actually turns the vib 
what would normally be a vibration, a dual sense vibration, it turns it into... Oh, I missed this one before. This is Uncharted 2, or 3, or 1, or 1, I don't know. It's one of the Uncharted's, though. We have a crashed plane, and he's, like, climbing and shooting. It's definitely Uncharted. Anyways. Oh, I don't have the bow and arrow. Yeah. <laughs> that thing kind of works like the ri the Wiggler from uh, Mario. What do we have here? I believe this one is a reference to Patapon, that little uh, rhythm game. Those look like Patapons to me. Oh no, Indiana Jones up in the bridge! Goodbye! Bam, bam, boogle. Alright. Got him. I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, the haptic feedback, the vibrations. It's pretty cool. So like, when I'm walking around like this, every time he steps, every time he touches the ground, the controller vibrates a little bit, but where it vibrates is different depending. So when he moves his left foot, the left side of the controller vibrates a little bit. When he moves his right foot, the right side of the controller vibrates a little bit. But only a little bit. It's not like a heavy vibration. It's ever so subtle, just so that you can feel it, but it's not, like, distracting. Just enough to give you that, um... That feeling of immersion. It's really good for immersion, that's what it's good for. Ooh, I found an artifact. It's a Vita cartridge, bought away. Ah, that's a reference to Tearaway. Tearaway, which was a PS Vita game, and got a remaster on the PS4 called Tearaway, Tearaway Remastered. Tearaway Unfolded, sorry. Uh, you've never wondered why I catch your eye, it's because you overlook all the choices I took. I spent... Oh, this is the lyrics to the song that are that's playing. Okay. That's cool. Alright. Hey, where'd you come from? You weren't an obstacle. Oh. They were not happy that I got that artifact. They had to throw enemies. So the haptic feedback is basically all vibration-based. It's pretty cool that it's realistic. Um, I'll wait until I get to another good example of it here before I explain... Because it's so hard to put into words unless you know. Uh, but here we're going to deal with the adaptive triggers. Alright, so the adaptive triggers are also really hard to put into words, but... Okay, so this is using the motion sensor, right? So I, I obviously, I, I can't show it to you, but I have the controller um, tilted. Now, if I tilt it up, the left side of the controller up, that moves the monkey body up. And then I grab with the trigger, but here's the thing. Pushing the trigger down a little bit, there's resistance, you know? I'm, I'm, I push the trigger ever so slightly, and there's some resistance there. And it's almost like it's stopping me from pushing it, so I have to put effort into pushing it further. I have to push past that resistance so that the trigger clicks, and then I grab it. So that's what the adaptive triggers are. They add a realistic resistance to the triggers, and it's game dependent. The triggers aren't always like that. They're not always locked up and clicking like that, you know? Um, it changes. So... Oop. Nope, fell in my butt. Okay. Like, if you're on the if you're on the main menu of the PS5, it doesn't do that lockup shit with the control with the triggers. That's specific, that's game specific, and it's different for each game and what you're doing in it. The whole point of this game, this Astrobot rescue mission game, is to get a feel for that extra is to get used to the new way that the PS5 controller works. Oh shit, I almost put that up. So that when you do play other games that utilize these features, you're not caught completely off guard and you already know what to expect from them, essentially.
All right. Now here, you have to use the motion sensor to swing forward. Booyah! Whoa! I it was too far. I need to go over here. And you can just, right here, you can just tilt the controller left or right to shimmy left or right, which is pretty useful, if you ask me. Okay. Alright, that was cool. And one more. Hey yo! Alright. And we skipped a whole bunch of climbing there, which is nice. And that is the end of the monkey climbing section. All right, back to regular, regular gameplay and stuff. All right, here we have another reference. These guys are all playing Ninja Bots on their um, on their PS4. I think that might be that uh, that DLC that they had for the Astro um, for the the playroom, the playroom on the original PS4. Yeah. Woohoo! Puzzle piece. Oh! I didn't see that before. What have we here? Oh, it's Tomb Raider! Okay. I was trying to see what that was. I couldn't really get a good look at it. I'm looking at the top of the screen, by the way, in case you're wondering. Because every time you see a bot with one of those cameras, it's like they're recording a reference to another game. It took me a minute there, but with the hair and the clothes and the dual wielding the pistols, that's definitely Laura Croft or <laughs> Laura Bot. Okay. All right, so that one was Tomb Raider. Got him. Also, God, this game is so... I mean, the fact that this is free, like, this is a pretty solid 3D platformer, you know? And it's fucking free. Look at that, these platforms are triggers. They're... the, the triggers on the back of the controller. Uh, also, if you look closely, like, these platforms and stuff, those are, like, USB ports. Those are all USB ports. The bridge, the planks for the bridges are all USB ports. Everything is made slightly computery. Another artifact? Another artifact. It is... Oh, it's the PSVR processor unit. Cool. Which is funny, considering that the PSVR is only compatible with the PS5 if you get the adapter for the old camera. The new camera doesn't work with it. Okay, so this reference I actually had a little bit of trouble with. I'm not 100% sure. I can't tell if this is Jedi Fallen Order or if it's Destiny 2. I'm leaning Destiny 2. I want to say Destiny. Destiny 2, specifically. That looks like a weapon from Destiny, but I could be wrong. I don't know. This one... Someone let me know in the comments down below if you know the answer to that reference, if you know what reference that is. Oh, shabo! Okay, almost fell. Ingo! Don't break the glass. Or do, do break the glass, but be careful about how you go about it. Alright. Also, these ropes that you cross, they're old, um, the PS1 controller, uh, cable that you plugged in. The old DualShock 1 cable. Oh! Okay, so this right here, this fan blowing at us, so here's a good, um, a good indicator of how the haptic feedback works in these games. The fan blowing, you feel the vibration mostly on the left side of the controller there, to indicate that that's where it's coming from. It's, it's so hard to put into words, really, because it's not, it's not your tradi it's not traditional vibrations. It's something else. Also, I can't tell what this reference is over here either because it's too far away, and you can't glide long enough to get there. Try as you might, but you won't get far. 
still though, based off the horns on the guy's head over there, the little bot over there, I'm going to say it's like an Ico reference. Like Ico, Shadow of the Colossus, all that. But see, no, there's a spinny thing over there, so you have to be able to get over there somehow. Because there's a... Whoa! No. Oh, I think I get it. I think I get it. Ah, the wind helps. Okay. Alright, so what the fuck is this? I think this is Ico. I think this is Ico, but the little rabbit with the same helmet doesn't make sense. I don't remember that in Ico. I could be wrong. I think I'm wrong about this one. Oh, it's a secret. Those puzzle pieces are collectibles. Ah, an artifact. It's a PS Vita. <laughs> well, at this point, the Vita really is an artifact, isn't it? <laughs> they abandoned that son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright. Ah, uh, yes. A relic of a time long past. <laughs> the fucker came out in 2012. <laughs> All right. All right. Now I do believe. All right. This is where we get the bow and arrow, and this is going to be another, another experiment with the um, with the haptic with the triggers. Okay. Oh, this is crazy. Okay. So you hold down the right trigger, right? And the further you press it, the more it resists. You can almost, you can feel, you can, uh, you can, you can literally feel the 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 stretch, the strain of the bow, and the haptic feedback vibration goes with the with the stretch. It's God, it's so hard to explain in words. It's something you actually have to feel with your own hands in order to fully appreciate. You know. Ready for the Proving. I got a trophy called Ready for the Proving. I feel like that's definitely a reference to something. The Proving- Oh! That's a reference to Horizon Zero Dawn! Right, right, the Proving Grounds in Horizon Zero Dawn, where you learn to use the bow and arrow in the beginning. She, she has to go through the Proving Grounds to prove herself right. Yeah, okay. That's what that was a reference to. Good stuff. Oh no! I angered a stone dragon. Ah, this is a boss fight. I guess. Or what passes for one. Oh, uh, I see. So just dodge the things. Ooh, okay. That was a sneaky one. Shit, come on. Boom, got him. One more? Oh, I gotta do one more, okay. Oh, aha! No! He knocked me off! Ah, fuck, now I gotta start over. Okay, well, at least I'm with this back. Let's go, you angry fuck! Also, you can use the right stick or the controller's motion sensor to aim the, um... Yes. To aim the bow and arrow. Alright, this time we gotta remember there's one you gotta get underneath, too. Boom, right there. Ooh. Got him. Nice. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you, I am your savior. Alright, what's this? Oh, Tekken. That's pretty easy, That's this is Tekken. 
Dang boofle. Alright. Ooh, monkey time again. Right. Grab! Oof, oof, ah, ah. ah, yes. You have to swap hands. Oh my. Pain you butt! Ooh. Ooh, I see what I have to do for here. I want that puzzle piece that I think I know how to get it. Hang on! Ha ha! Oh. 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 Ah! Oh, 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 the poor monkey. Okay. Well, at least I didn't die. Okay. Oh, wow, you... Okay. Oh, stupid birds. You know what? Let's go do a... Oh, this is... Oh, this is the last part of this level. Okay. I was about to say, let's go to a different... Let's check out a different level real quick, but never mind. It's the end of this one. Ooh, okay. Monkey! Yeehaw, monkey! Okay. What? Yep. Uh oh. No. Okay. Got it. Oh no! Oh, that's gonna be a bitch. How in the hell? Oh, I see. I see what we have to do here. Okay. That's not going to be easy, but I get it. I've done this a little bit faster, yeah, but I'm just trying to be careful. I don't want to fall. Oh god, here we go. Oh my goodness! All right, I think that's the end of this level. Is there a penguin here I can pick up and throw off a cliff? Journey! That's Journey! Yeah, I remember that. Oh, and listen, that music, that's the PS4 home screen. Oh, sh- Whee! Had to get them coins. So that's a reference to Journey right there, yeah. Recognize that. Jumping on these joysticks. Hey, it's a PS4. Oh, you get an artifact for... I got a trophy called Greatness Awaits. We're a little late for that. Great Greatness has been in came, and it's been here, and it got even greater over time. Lots of fantastic exclusives on the PlayStation 4. Let's hope the PS5 lives up to it. I really hope it does. And that's just one of the levels. Yes, there's more. Yeah, this PlayStation Labo is um, where you go. It's like a little hub where you can see your stuff.
Oh. So now there's a speed run challenge for that world now that I finished it once. But yeah, there's other other places you can go with other references and stuff like that. That's the one we went to. That's the one I went to before. I went into this one earlier. Like, uh, let's see if I can go back where I was. Yeah, right here. Real quick before we end, I just want to show you. If it'll let me go back to where I was. I don't think I can go back to where I was before. But this... No, I don't think I can. Oh yeah, I can. I mean, it takes me all the way back, but like... There were some cool references here, too. Like, I've already been through here, but I'll just show you real quick what I remember, like... Flower. This one's a reference to Flower, if any of you remember that game on the PS3. It was a good one. Uh, further down the way, there's a reference to Death Stranding. There's like a robot carrying some boxes on his back, walking through the muck and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. But anyways... So yeah. Um, that was my first PS5 Let's Play, and my first 4K Let's Play on my channel. Um, and this is uh, Astro's Playroom, the uh, the PS5 exclusive game that teaches you how to use the PS5 controller's new features, like the haptic feedback and adapt adaptive triggers and the microphone and yada yada. But anyways, oh yeah, and the motion sensor, which isn't new, but it's a lot more intuitive on here so far than it was. The touchpad on the PS5 controller is a lot better than the PS4 one as well. But anyways... Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you were lucky enough to get your hands on a PS5, let me know your thoughts with it so far. If you'd like to see more of this game specifically, let me know, because I would be happy to do more videos of it. I do enjoy playing these kinds of games, I really do. But that will be it for this video. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave it a like. And as always, I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye!